All right guys, it's Bob here and uh, in this video I'm showing you uh, something that arrived late before Christmas. Um, if you follow my vlog channel you'll know a little bit about it. Um, and what it is, it's uh, these string lights. Now they've come from Inatech, a big thank you to them for sending them out. And uh, I've sort of, <laughs> I've actually had it home and that's purely because I've actually done this video once the files got corrupted and I lost all the footage so so we're gonna do it again um, so you can see I have already pulled this tear strip here and the only reason that uh, you need you don't really need to pull that uh, strip off because all of those would actually push out of the sleeve but the reason for taking it off is that uh, you've got your instructions in there so you've got your instructions for it and then uh, three separate boxes now they're actually um, sent to me uh, before Christmas and um, you know she said to me well I think they're gonna be late and they were you know I think they turned up uh, Christmas Eve something like that or the day before Christmas Eve so there was just no way that I was gonna get this up before Christmas and they actually I do market them as a Christmas tree light and the, the problem with that to me is uh, because of the way these are actually made I'm not sure that they'd benefit best as a Christmas tree light or maybe just as illuminating the edge of a desk, a shelf or whatever but you can see here you've got a remote control and there is a little tab in there for the battery it's just got one of those uh, CR uh, batteries in you know, the, the, the large style, what are they? 20, 25, yeah, CR2025 and um, this is a standard remote that's used across for other ones as well because there are some other ones that are on strips and are multi-coloured whereas these are just a single colour light and I'll show you them working in a little while but that's your lights and as you can see they're on like a copper wire so I'm going to open this up I'll get rid of that and you can see that's your plug for them right there if I find the end of the there it is just found the end of it and as you can see they've got these tiny little LEDs on there and they are they are very small LEDs and it's on just basically copper wire so you wouldn't want to be creasing it around a tight corner uh, too often you know otherwise it will snap but if I just put that back there a second and then we'll I'll show you the other bits as well uh, which is basically like the the power part of it all now, if I get you that, uh, now then let me just think about this. That's the, that goes into the lights. That is the, this is the bit that you need on display, this bit here. That's the, um, what that is, is the receiver for the remote control. I don't know how well you can actually see that. But this is, the, yeah, that's, that's the bit that's gotta be on show. So, you know, wherever you put that, that must be visible to or line of sight with the remote control and we get into there so you've got all your instructions you can see in the bottom of that box and this is your power lead obviously it'll be country specific if I can get that out of there come on there we go and get them out I mean these are sort of like your more in-depth instructions if you like uh, it's in a multitude of uh, languages so there's not going to be any problem there whatsoever i'll put that there and what i'm going to do guys i'm going to get this all uh, plugged in for you and um, show you it running okay so i've got it all plugged in here uh, let me just open that up a bit for you so now obviously this bit here this is the bit that we need to be seeing so if we click on and there you go you can see they're pretty you know they're pretty damn bright you know remember I have got studio lights on here as well you know uh, photography lights shining down at all this so and then what we've got is now let me get this right I've been through this before we've got different flash rates so I'm not pointing at the thing am I right so there you go that's a one hertz flash then we can go two hertz Three hertz, and as you can see, it's getting faster. And FF, I'm not sure what that actually means, but it's like flash, flash, or something like that that it maybe stands for. But you can see that it's uh, basically giving like a, a double 
flash a little bit like a traffic cone or something like that now I'm not sure what clear means unless that's for clearing any sort of settings that you've done oh no yeah that just sent it back to clear and we've got a smooth so obviously it's like a, a slow burn sort of thing that you get in here and then you've got a 20 second one so that slows it down as you can see so that's getting brighter now sorry about the the bar rolling on the screen like uh, that's uh, just obviously to do with the uh, refresh rate on the camera and then we've got a 15 second smooth so that'll be a little bit quicker and then we've got 10 second and finally a five second now let's have a look at these all right so they alter the brightness so that's as dim as they'll go which is a number 10 and in in increments of 10 so you've got 10 20 30 40 and it goes all the way up to 100 which is obviously your full brightness so as you can see all works perfectly well um, as a christmas tree light i'm not so sure guys i think it'd be a bit of a pain putting it on the christmas tree getting it off would probably be a little bit easier because you can just you know it's copper you'd be able to just pull it and as long as it doesn't snag too hard you wouldn't uh, damage the lights uh, as for I'm not sure I, I, I think I'm not sure they've really sort of hit the nail on the head with um, marketing these as Christmas tree lights I think these would probably sell better for putting around a desk or something like that because that's so stiff and rigid and you could easily bend a corner on that you know as long as they work coming on and off all the time but yeah i really you know i really like them i mean they work fine you know i've had them on before i've, well, I've had them on a few times actually sort of trying them out and what have you um I'm, I'm sort of in two minds about putting them around the desk or you know sort of like making a gap down the back of my desk and sort of like giving a bit of glow to the back or not or um just hanging on to them till next christmas and trying them on the tree you know um so you might actually get to see them on the tree next year I'm not sure if that's one supposed to be there no it's not it's just a plastic rack just uh, fastening the wires up so there you go guys I mean um, you know you can make your own decision what you think of them so that are the Inertec string lights uh, model SL2001 I'll leave all the uh, links down below like guys as usual and uh, big thank you to Inertec for sending them out and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video Cheers guys, see ya.